day 76. Ah, I wake up to the pitter patter of rain on my tent. I'm glad I didn't decide to cowboy camp last night. It was a crapshoot, according to the weather, because I was able to you know, get service. Uh, there was only a like 20% chance overnight. For most of the night, I think at 8 o'clock it got up to 40%, but I was like, 20% here is probably like an 80% in Arizona. Water falls from the sky constantly here. I am blessed to go a few days without rain. So there, there is that. Uh, I slept in. Oh, I ate a lot last night. I ate both my dinners. It's like 4.30. I'm slacking. I only have uh, less than 12 to do. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a while. Drink some coffee and... See if this thing passes. Yeah. I'm hiking in the rain today. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's what it is, man. At least I have count I can call to pick me up so I don't have to hitch into town. That'll really help out a lot because hitching is already kind of hard when you look like a serial killer, but when you're a wet serial killer, it's almost impossible. Nobody lets those in their car. All right, coffee, some food, and then I think I'm going to sit here for a while longer. I'm not really in the mood to walk yet, but we'll see. Yeah, rain delay, not in the mood. Oh, late start today. It's 6 a.m. It's cold. It's not wet yet. But it will be. That's really going to blow. <laughs> Just is. Rain sucks for so many reasons. I mean, other than the cold and the wet, my phone doesn't work at all in it. Touch screens don't work. So I, I can break it up for like really limited use, but once the screen gets wet, it's pretty much all over. Not to mention the cold and the wet. Please hold out for 11 and a half miles. Thank you. We had dirt bike tracks. So hopefully those guys have cleared most of this. Groovy. It's just drizzling enough to make it to where I have to wear plastic. I've only been out in this for a little over an hour now. But that's how it's been pretty much the whole time. I'm cool with that. It is the lightest of drizzles. The hiking has been pretty mellow, more downhill than anything. And with help of those guys on motorcycles with chainsaws, it's been pretty smooth sailing. They have gotten a bunch of them. These would have been annoying chest high. No option of going under, so I'd have to go over. Anything that's really low, they just ride their bikes over, which also means I can just step over it, so that's cool. Still just a drizzle on this dreary, wet day. I 
I'm kind of looking forward to being done with it. I'm already tired. I'm not really taking breaks. I feel like if I do and I get soaked, that's my fault for taking breaks. And I don't want to get wet. Wet's getting one thing when it's inevitable. But this might not be inevitable if I hike fast enough and make my miles. Maybe, just maybe, Count can rescue me before the storm hits in earnest. Okay, it's a little after nine. I'm about to take a break somewhere. It's all just drizzly and blah. You might as well get your spirits high. And this is about as protected as it gets. I'm going to sit right here because it's kind of dry. I hear a waterfall. There's somewhere to sit near the waterfall. Right up in there is. Oh. Well, there's a switchback. Never mind, there is no waterfall. Well, there is a waterfall, but... Alright, well, I'm going to take a break soon, damn it. Well, that'll work. I've gone seven miles without a break. I believe I deserve one. I'm going to sit on you. This can't be gold, is it? I'm just finding too much. Nah, the way it floats downstream when I touch it. Yeah, it's not heavy enough. I don't believe it's gold. So is this why there's no animals out here? Because it's just impossible to tra traverse this, this mountainside. I imagine the animals are just like, screw it and went somewhere else, but where do they go? I don't know how widespread this damage is, but you know, it's been pretty much everywhere I've walked for the past few days. I can hear the sounds of traffic. I'm a little less than four miles out. I'm gonna wait until I'm like two miles out and then hit count up. Even if it started raining now, it would be so much easier to deal with knowing I'm near the end than when you know you have hours of just slogging ahead of you. It's not even hiking at that point, you're just slogging along, kind of hating life. This, as far as being wet, is quite pleasant. It's just been a sprinkle, just a little sprinkle. Enough to where, you know, everything is wet. And why does this absorb? It shouldn't absorb, it should be like a garbage bag, just rolls right off. But enough of a sprinkle to get me wet. But not even enough of one to just soak me and bring my spirits down and whatnot. Where are we? Hey, we are here. Oh, okay. It is open to motorized what I was on. I don't know if the, I was curious if those kids on the bikes were legal or not. Not that I cared if you're out there clearing the, the trail. I'm all for it. Speaking of which, which way are you, trail? Probably over here somewhere. Well, maybe the road. Lord knows, guess I'll have to check a map. Any signs? Nothing.
Well, looks like I followed this road for a while and I expect it to be all super maintained and nice. It hasn't sprinkled in a few minutes, all the birds are singing. And the explosions, you hear the mine. Took me a minute to figure out what they were too. Sounds similar to a gunshot, but kind of different. Don't know how close I am to the mine. I assume they're pretty big explosions. Or those maybe just the ones that scare the birds away. I'm not sure. Way on hill. There's the highway. Unfortunately, Count has not responded to me. Uh, and that's been about an hour. I hit Big Red up and I was like, hey, is this Count's number? Because I haven't texted anybody yet or Count anyway. He has my number, but I just got his from Big Red. Uh, but Big Red's on the trail, so he hasn't answered yet either. So it looks like I'm going to try to hitch in. But this is a highway. You can't really hitch on highways all that well. So I might be walking in, but yeah. Worst things have happened. Okay, good times. Uh, Count just called me. He saw that I had called. Uh, he's just waking his happy ass up. It's like, I don't know, 1030, maybe 11, but you know, he's under the weather. But he's feeling better, he says, and he sounds better. So I'm going to go hang out underneath this bridge up over here. Uh, just get out of the sprinkles and just kick it there until I told him take his time, man. Now that I know I have a ride secured, I'm not worried and I'm in no hurry. I got a bridge to hide under. I got cell service, so, you know, the only thing I don't have is battery power. Wasted all that the other day trying to upload that one, and I only got one bub out of the Lady of the Mountain, or Lady of the Rockies. So, you know, and I burned that last night charging this up again. So, yeah. No, I'm battery, but that's my only stress. Then I got no stress. Okay, so this is my home till Count decides to come and get me. It's dry. I got birds flying around. Some traffic noises. What more does a man need? A lot more, but I'll settle for less. Traffic noise has really ruined my bird shots. Well, that nice guy was Mark while I'm sitting here waiting. He's like, hey, I'm the postman in the area. My friend, she rides the bicycle up his trail. And she says, whenever I see one of you hikers on the side, to give him a piece of fruit. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mark. Well, Count eventually picked my happy ass up, took me back to the place, took a nice shower, I feel golden. Now I'm walking the strip in search for food. Because I'm a hungry man, and I don't want pizza. Go down your house, and then I'm going to eat you. Beautiful day. Day 77. Tragedy has struck. I dropped my pipe. So now I'm walking into town to get me some food and a new pipe. Priorities. Uh, not doing any hiking today. It rained all last night and all this morning. And it's probably going to rain a bit more today. Red's visiting one of his friends. Lucky Strike's still not back from her stuff. So I assume we won't be hiking till tomorrow. But we'll see. It's still the same day. I'm, I'm hanging out with Becky, also known as Grandma. Uh, Lucky Strike is not around. She was taking care of her shit. She'll be back soon. Red's gone. Uh, Count watches golf. He watches golf. But he's been watching golf literally for days straight at some sort of big tournament or something. Uh, so me and Becky are hanging out. It's cool getting drunk with Grandma. You know, she's, she's good people. Living an exciting life. She's gone places, done things. Oh. <sighs> But she can drink way more than I can. We're getting lit on boxed wine, and you know, I'm three cups in and I'm already a little loopy. It's almost my bedtime, but the sun doesn't go down till like 10 o'clock here. 
But I am seeing the best of Montana. This is beautiful Montana is what it is, man. I'm seeing the best times of it, I think. Sure, it's probably going to rain on me. I'm going to whine later. But it's not cold. It's not hot. Sure, it does get a little cold. But it doesn't get freezing. You know, I don't know I'm dying. But the mosquitoes aren't horrible. The ticks aren't horrible. What more can I ask for? I've seen a bunch of rainbows since I've been here, man. But that means it rains a lot. Uh, but hey, that's part of it. Give it to me, sunshine. But I'm digging it so far. I just feel stagnant. I've been in the same place for far too long. I really need to get moving. But I have to imagine since nobody's here, we're not even going hiking tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm digging this crew. I don't want to abandon them just because they go too slow or anything. But fuck, they're going too slow. Things are what they are, though. You know, this is um, you know, this is not the norm for them. You know, Count got sick and all sorts of stuff happened. You know, things are things. Uh, but hopefully we get our shit together just a little bit more for the merry band of drunks that we, t we seem to be. Right. Well, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Day 78. I am not where I expected myself to be. I am doing the trail over again since everybody missed out on the trail in some fashion, except for moi, because I'm such a dedicated hiker. I'm so professional about this shit. But they all have stuff to make up, so we're slack packing. I just got a little backpack on, and hell, it's got uh, you know, half alcohol, half snacks. So we do this right in safety supplies. Of course, safety supplies. Uh, right now, it is just me and Lucky Strike. We're doing eight miles because everybody else did this section, but I've been antsy, so I need to walk. Uh, so I'm gonna do the eight miles. That's like three hours without a backpack on. And then tomorrow, we're slack packing the miles that the other guys missed. And I'm going to do those too, because why not? I mean, if it's raining, I might hang out with the van, I'll be honest. But if it's a day like today, this is really nice for Montana. It's actually been pretty groovy the past few days. Other than, you know, yesterday it did rain all day, but I was indoors, so who cares? Yeah, let's get lit and go for a walk with no weed on my back. I'm seeing a profile of an alien's head. Huh. It is just beginning to sprinkle. I had to stop to pee, so Lucky Strike just ditched me. Everybody's quicker than I am. I gotta get a picture before I go. A little bit of ice fell from the sky for a while, but we got blue skies again. But round two might just be coming my way. But hell, out of the eight miles, I think we're about six miles in. This is super easy without a pack on. So we're all just pretty much hanging out in Red's van. He's cooking tacos right now. They, they went into town while we were slack packing up here because they've already done this section. I'm set up next to the pooper because I'm smart. It's like the best spot around. But the plan tomorrow is, is everybody needs to do a different area because this is where the band split up. Uh, so we're going to drop Count off somewhere. He's going to head in one direction. Red's going to head in another I'm going to walk with Lucky Strike, and we're doing 20. They're just doing 10s, but we're going to slack pack a 20 tomorrow. Oh. Because they're like, are you going to do it tomorrow? And I was like, well, it depends if it's raining or not. But they made it sound as though they wanted me to walk with her. Just, uh, you know, I guess safety reasons. I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> but I could tell they were pleased with, uh, oh, you'll walk with her? And I was like, yeah. You know, it's a slack pack. This stuff's too easy. I'm just, you know, I'm bored of sitting around. 
But I'm just bored of sitting around, so I'm happy to walk. And without a backpack on, it's quite delightful. Although tomorrow I'm going to be wearing my backpack, because 20 miles, I want to have some stuff. I don't know if it's going to, I'm going to assume it's going to rain and stuff. And I'm going to have lunch in the whole nine yards. So I'm not going to bring a little backpack. I'm going to bring my backpack, but just with out 90% of the stuff. Should be good times. Gotta keep in shape, you know. Get a little workout, can't go stagnant. I feel like I've been sitting in the same place forever. I mean, hanging out at Grandma's house was awesome. I really appreciate the opportunity and all that, but I was growing roots there. I mean, I only walked one section, maybe 100 miles tops, not even. It's probably like 80. And now I'm doing it again. But I gotta get these guys on board so that we can move on to our next destination. We all gotta be on the same, <clears throat> excuse me, on the same page. And we're gonna have two vehicles now because Lucky Strike brought her car back. Or it's actually just like my Honda Element, but it has a different name, but it's the same damn car. Uh, so groovy with two vehicles, this whole slack packing thing should be way easier. I wouldn't mind slack packing the hell out of the rest of this trail. I've never had this opportunity. It was really nice to do some slack packing. I think I've done it like four or five times in my entire hiking career. I need more of this in my life. Mm, day 79. I slept in quite late, but you know, we did some drinking last night, obviously. Oh, so me and Lucky Strike are taking off. If she's sticking with the game plan, because, you know, most people don't like waking up early, but she seems to be up earlier than the rest of them. So we should be taking off at 6 a.m., which is coming up in another 15 minutes or so. And then Red's driving to a place, dropping Count off. Then he's driving to another place. They're going to cross paths, switch keys, and then, you know, end up in the same place. And we'll, me and her just walk into that place. It's 20 miles. I did it the other day with a backpack on, so without a backpack, it should be cake, right? All right. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. I'm bringing my backpack so I have my water filter and stuff like that and several jackets and gloves and hats and stuff because you never know if it's going to rain or get freezing because it got down below freezing last night. All the condensation in my tent was frozen solid. And then so my fingers are cold this morning from dealing with that. But most of my stuff is in that garbage bag right there and I'm gonna throw that in Red's uh, van and then that's the little pack I'm carrying right there. I don't know, 15 pounds maybe. Yeah, I probably have stuff I don't need, but I don't care. Uh, probably don't have stuff I do need and I will care when I realize it, what it is, but I think I'm good for now, man. It should be pretty easy. One trekking pole that's in his van and uh, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna give her a few minutes, go over and tapity tap on the van if she's not ready. But I suspect she will be. Huh, let's get our hike on, man. When Count picked me up on the trail the other day, he mentioned, because I mentioned the Morgan mushrooms I found, and he mentioned how much he liked them. I happened to find them again. And they looked a little sickly last time, and now they're all just full, so. I was like, I will surprise that man with some mushrooms. Officially the first day of summer in two days. And ice is falling from the sky. Pretty much every day. Montana summers. It's still the same day. I'm not sure which day it is, but it's still the same one. We are in the town of Helena at Ellison Guess Elliston store. Right. Uh, she allows us to stay for free. She mows the area back here. There's a little river right in there, a little stream. Allows us to park the van here for a while, a while too. Uh, so we're walking southbound from here back to Butte. It's about 70 miles, give or take. Nothing big. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to kick it here tonight. And then head out tomorrow. It's supposed to be rainy. Not tomorrow, not the day after. But the day after, it's supposed to be raining hard. So, 
gonna try to do as much of that as I can before the rain kicks in so I don't get my ass kicked. Still setting up, I got a lot of stuff.